Hello everyone, my name is Michael and I sure hope you like video games because I make video games and I make this video series about making video games. I am approaching the end of development for Bannerman. It's not done yet, but soon. SOON! Uh, the game is nearly feature complete, and once everything is implemented, I'll be concentrating on fixing bugs and polishing everything as best I can, and then it's time to release! This month I have finished up a couple more levels and campfire sequences. In fact, I've only got uh, one more level to go, I believe. I'll show you what I've done here briefly, but I don't want to go on about where in the game these levels occur or what's going on, because I don't want to spoil the game before it comes out, so here you go. Quick. Ready? Go. And that's all you get. I also did a couple of other little things this month, like I did some NPCs and um, I fixed up some little bits and bobs that needed doing, but I didn't record any footage of it, so you'll just have to kind of take my word for that. It's nothing too exciting anyway. A more interesting thing that happened this month is I've added a new weapon that the player can find within various levels. So now in addition to finding the bow, uh, the player can also make use of a shield and switch to using their sword one-handed. The shield allows the player to block arrows and other projectiles as opposed to being forced to dodge those attacks. Uh, the player does also not suffer stamina loss or the slight recoil time that comes with blocking with just their sword. Uh, this allows you to block an attack and then immediately counterattack. The downsides of using the shield when compared to just your sword in two hands are that you lose the ability to chain multiple attacks together. Your power attacks have a shorter range, although they are quicker to execute and the shield will eventually break after blocking a certain number of attacks. Like the bow, which you have seen in a previous video, it's all about giving the player uh, different options and the ability to handle different situations in different ways. It will be interesting to see which uh, weapons people do prefer and uh, what sort of situations they prefer to use them in. I've also done lots of little things that just needed to be done, so I now have Steam Cloud Save support, which is cool. That's just a nice thing to have. I'm currently doing achievements and trading cards as well. Looking forward to next month. Uh, hopefully I can get everything as complete as I can get it. I'm going to be putting a lot of hours in. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I guess um, you'll find out in the next video as to whether or not everything's complete and I've moved on to bug fixing or if there's still something else to do. Anyway, I'm going to get back to actually working on the game, so thank you very much for watching this episode of Just Make Game. <laughs> <laughs>